Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and today I'm here to talk to you about the journey that I have been going on as I get back my health and I get ready to compete in the WBFF World Championships. So for the last four years, I've had a lot of stuff going on with my health and this is the first year that I'm actually starting to feel like myself again. And I have been training to get ready for the world championships. And as I do that, I just wanted to share some of my sort of realization moments. It's really just realizing things that I already knew, um, but I'm really remembering the things that brought me into my best fitness level um, and that made me get in my best shape. And this past two years, I started doing things really differently and I have to say that I did not have the habits that I needed to stay in my absolutely best shape. So this is a really huge one for me, but I had already picked up my workouts. I'm doing my workouts. I'm working out hard and I'm not quite seeing the changes in my physique just yet that I want to see. I definitely look different, but I'm not changing as quickly as I know that I can change. So I started really thinking about it and there's really only a few different components. It's how much stronger are you getting or how much more are you doing, which I just prefer to do with strength because I'm not going to work out for hours and hours a day. Um, but your eating is a huge, huge part of it. And so I have been just eating intuitively, eating also just what I want. And I've added on a lot of habits that were probably not things that I did when I was competing, um, things that I did when I was in my very best shape. So last week I decided to fire up my fitness pal, fitness tracker, and really just put in everything that I am eating. And I'm going to link to my fitness pal below just in case you guys are interested in doing something like this. Now, a lot of people will say, I know what I'm eating. I don't need help with this. I, I just keep it in my mind. I know how it is. And I have to say that almost always you're completely off when you think that you know what you're eating. So the first day I put my calories in and it really wasn't just about my calories. It was about my protein. It was about what I was eating. I just realized that here and there I was sneaking in a lot of bad habits and I was taking in more fat and sugar and carbs than I wanted to and not enough protein. Now, I don't think that fat and sugar and carbs are a terrible thing, but I do try to get at least a gram of um, protein per pound of body weight for my body when I'm trying to build lean muscle and when I'm trying to get a really small waist and to get ready to compete. And so I put my calories and I put my information in the first day and it was just a really funny moment to see what I was eating and to just kind of have a little bit of an aha moment because I thought that I was basically on track with my eating and I realized that there were just some little snacks or meals in my day that were not bad, but they needed a little bit of a makeover. So one, um, one example of this kind of a meal is that every morning for breakfast, I was having an English muffin, although I eat the Ezekiel muffins, which are delicious and I will link to those as well. Um, and they're, they're a great treat, but I was having an Ezekiel muffin with two pieces of bacon and two whole eggs. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with any of these foods. The issue is that I was getting a lot of my calories from carbs and fat from the bacon and also fat from the eggs, but none of those things actually have a ton of protein. So one of the reasons that you see people actually eating egg whites sometimes is that they are higher in protein. So if you're trying to stay under a certain amount of calories for leanness, but you're also looking to put on muscle, that means you have to be really smart about where you tuck in your protein. So I looked at that breakfast and decided to do a little bit of a makeover. And what I have changed it to is now in the morning, I'm having half of a bell pepper, two whole eggs, and a half a cup of egg whites. So I have exponentially added so much more protein and two slices of bacon because I really enjoy bacon. Um, I also usually add about half a cup of blueberries in on the side. So it's just a different kind of meal. I'm getting less refined carbs in the form of an English muffin and I'm having more fruits and I'm still having fat. I think you should enjoy your meal. You shouldn't be starving yourself, um, but getting your protein is really important if you're changing your body. 
So that was a really, really easy meal makeover um, and it helped me to get closer to my protein goals. Um, when I had my snack in the afternoon, I was having one scoop of protein powder with a whole banana and some whole milk. And I realized that the one scoop of protein powder was not enough protein. So I actually did two scoops of protein powder for more protein. So you really do have to look if you're tucking in that protein all the time um, and you're trying to get to those goals. Now, for me, I am not one of those people that's going to eat four to six meals a day. It's just too much um, it, it's too much work to eat that many times and I'm always busy with projects. So I do tend to eat three meals a day and I do just fine on that. I might have a little snack, um, but that is how I do it personally. So the last thing that I found that was really tripping me up was my granola habit. Guys, I had a really, really bad granola habit. Um, I will say, I'm also going to link to my favorite granola. It is called Love Crunch and it is so good. So look in the description, guys. I'm linking to a little bit of this stuff. Um, so what I was doing was I was having a big bowl of granola with some kefir, which is drinkable yogurt. Now, this isn't terrible, but when I logged my food, I realized that I was actually eating 600 calories of granola, 100 calories of drinkable yogurt. That's kind of like a big snack. If you're trying to get a little bit leaner for spring, it's a big snack. Um, and so the makeover that I did for that is I changed it to one whole cup of berries, half a cup of kefir, and three tablespoons of my delicious granola. So I'm still having my granola. It's just become not the primary thing in my meal. It's kind of like a little secondary player now. It's more like a condiment of granola. So with all of these changes, it's been really interesting because I added in some more foods, some more fruits, some more vegetables, um, more protein, and I've been feeling a lot more satiated the past few days. I've also noticed that my energy levels are better because it's encouraged me to eat more fresh fruits that are really good for my body. So I know this might seem so obvious to you guys, but I will say that I thought that I was probably eating around 1800 calories. I was actually eating closer to 2800 calories every day. This is a pretty major difference. Um, and I'm not saying that I will not go back to that if I'm maintaining, but I did put on just a little tiny bit of excess body fat um, when I was constantly ordering my favorite takeout all the time. The past year, I've just ordered takeout whenever I wanted um, and had whatever treats whenever I wanted, and I just realized that I needed to rein it in a little bit. So if you are not logging your portions, this might be helpful for you as well. I just feel like I was thinking, I'm doing everything I can to get into my very best shape, and then when I really looked, I realized I wasn't really doing everything that I could, I was just saying that. So I really hope this was helpful. Check out my links below. I've got some of my favorite fitness and health stuff, and I will be coming to you with more videos soon as I get into my best shape. I just like to share the little easy things that I'm doing because maybe they'll inspire you too. I don't think that there is any food that tastes as good to me as feeling confident in my own skin. And I think that feel, you should feel confident in your skin even when you're dieting, even when you're trying to get to another goal. You should still love exactly who you are, but there is nothing wrong with having a physical goal and just doing everything possible to reach it in a healthy way. Stay healthy and stay beautiful, and I will see you guys again really soon. Thanks so much for watching.